everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're painting Aetheria, the Undead Queen from Mass of Darkness 2. She's a roaming monster from the base game and she is primed in Mechanicus Standard Gray by Citadel Primers because I don't have a gray primer from Army Painter and we're going to be painting this entire miniature with Army Painter paints. And we're starting off with Dragon Red. Okay, so if I'm using Dragon Red on such a large part of the miniature, why didn't I prime it in Dragon Red? Well, because I wanted this to be as light as possible so that the gray comes through again to give it a more grungy, dirty look. Because to be honest, this thing almost looks like the Bride of Frankenstein later on with the skin color she has. And this Dragon Red, as you can see, you're gonna put second coat on. But what it's doing, it's actually going into the recesses, creating a bit of a shade, uh, staying on the higher raised edges as a highlight. And when you put that second cone on, you really highlight the edges and it comes out looking amazing. You can see it a bit more now. Next, we're using some uniform gray. You see, this could have been also the color I would have used as a primer, but I don't have it. I'm gonna have to buy some, but I'm waiting for that ash gray to come out in October. Or Army Painter, if you're watching this, you can always send me a can if you want <laughs> uh, to demo it, you know. I was using uh, the robes and um, these things around her, uh, her cuffs, like of her sleeves, and just around her shoulder there. We're going to be using some skeleton bone next. We're going to be doing this on this beautiful bone-like uh, uh, bow of hers. So, bone-like bow. Oh, that's funny. I don't know, sort of. Uh, I find it funny. You guys might not. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so we're doing that just on the bow there. A nice skeleton bone. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. If you are, hit that like button, folks. And if you're new to the channel, like most of you are, please subscribe. It means a lot. And at the end of the year, if we hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So please hit that subscribe button. Next, we're using some spaceship exterior. This is a very, very light gray because, like I said, she has a bride of Frankenstein going here with these big, thick arms, big hands. Um, her face has stitches. Uh, yeah, and she has this very ghoulish gray which i have ghoul gray i could have used <laughs> uh flesh so that's why i'm doing this first with the, this color and we'll be fixing this later on monster brown now for her quiver uh this is for the uh lighter part of the quiver so just that bottom part of it we're also gonna be using it on the actual arrow um wood i guess or the actual arrow and then we're moving on to some leather brown to do the part top part of the quiver and uh also just like that's it <laughs> Rigid Leathers next now. This is an actual unique paint from D&D's paint line in the Army Painter. We're doing every little strap that she has on her. There's some on her cloak. There's some around her waist. Uh, there's some holding up that quiver. So you just go along and you find those. Mummy robes now. This is one of the longer parts again of the miniature. It was actually longer than actually doing the actual robe. And this is for all that like fur. Now it's kind of funny because whenever I was looking from behind, I find she looks like Mrs. Claus with the red coat and uh, white fur around it and what I'm going to do to it later on you're going to be like why are you doing this and you'll see why but it comes out looking nice I fix it and it looks great in the end uh, I also want to thank again I only have one patreon right now or patron I should say on patreon the link is in the description you're more than welcome if you want to join that you can join my discord channel you get some voting privileges voting what miniatures I paint what games I paint uh, you know, just have a little bit more fun and it helps support me and my hobby because as you may know, this hobby is not cheap, but it is fun and I love doing these videos for you guys. I love being a new painter and I will always be a new painter. I don't think I'm ever going to learn new tricks really. I sort of do. I kind of try, uh, but I want to be there for the average Joe who wants to get their miniatures on the table and have something looking good instead of just a bunch of plastic color gray or even white or even some of them red like i saw in the, the others and stuff like that so you know you don't want to you want your game to look good on the table especially when you have your friends over and you're playing a good fun game all right finally we're done with those mummy robes by the way this is an eight times speed so this is going crazy night scales this is a metallic paint it's a very darkish almost blue got a hue to it but almost black as well uh for just that halo circular thing that she has on around her head as you can see i'm also missing one of the blades it broke off in shipping so i've reached out to simon they've constantly told me oh we're looking at it and i've never gotten another one yet so probably won't gunmetal now to do all those spikes and the blades and the tip of that dagger we're also going to do on her quiver she has like these two little daggers sticking out of it i don't know if it's just ornaments or if it's actual daggers that she can use or is it different tips uh that she can use for her arrows but uh gunmetal is a darker um silver color 
uh, than let's say plate metal metal or shiny silver I find this one is perfect for this I won't even put a wash on it because I like the way it comes out anyways and there's those two little daggers there on her quiver next we're using some greedy gold now for her pauldrons uh, she has a bit of armor on her uh, pretty much nothing else uh, has gold so just that a little bit of Sturge tan. <laughs> There's a Sturge. That's what they look like in D&D. &D. This is a unique paint. Just dry brushing over the edges of her cloak. Give it a little bit more highlight. Some matte black for her hair. Oh, not, not, you know, nothing more than that. And now we're making that face and skin looking even more ghoulish with some holy white. Because it's more holy gray. <laughs> I don't know. Crusader skin. Now this is where everyone's going to be like, why are you putting that on top of the mummy robes? You're making it look beige or pinkish. I will fix it. Please keep watching. You will see why I fix it. But frankly, it's not that bad. The Crusader skin, yes, it's not skin, but it gives a nice beige undertone for what I'm going to do after to make those robes pop a little bit more. So please be patient, folks. All right, we're moving on again. Tell me me robes. There it is. We're fixing it. We're doing a little dry brush. I have this nice little makeup brush here that has a really nice edge to it. I'm just dry brushing over all those spots again just to bring out that mummy robes again, but to keep that beige undertone and not make it super bright looking. Uh, strong tone now. We're going to be using this pretty much on the entirety of the miniature, uh, except for like where I put the holy white. Uh, I'm putting this on the bow, on her uh, uh, everywhere, pretty much. Anywhere where I have the gray, I'm putting this on her her nice beautiful robe here and as you can see I'm not putting a ton of it on tainted gold now we're doing her crown and her necklace this is like a golden uh, this is a greenish gold color and to finish off we're using some azure magic on her bracelets and uh, that is it folks Aetheria queen of the undead is ready for massive darkness to hellscape I want to thank you guys for watching please hit that subscribe button and we'll see you all in the next one